Uh, Labour announcing a crackdown on tax dodgers today as they aim to close non-dom tax loopholes. Let's talk to uh, our guest right now, uh, who is Rachel Henry, who's Head of Advocacy at Tax Justice UK. Uh, good morning to you. Hello, Julia. Thanks very much thank, for having well, me on. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, we, we always hear from governments and potential governments, they want to crack down on tax avoidance, same as cutting down on red tape as well. Does it ever seem to come about? Is what uh, the Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves announcing today, is that actually going to present us with a, a big tax, say, well, tax income coming in to be spent on things like schools and hospitals? Or is this kind of hope against hope? Look, I think this is a brilliant announcement. Tax abuse is frankly a disgrace. People have been outraged about it for years and investing in HMRC is a no-brainer. Hollowing out your tax authority so it can't even answer the phones, let alone act as a credible deterrent to sophisticated tax dodgers is an incredibly short-sighted policy. So frankly, you know, any government should have, you know, cracked down on this a long time ago. So I'm really pleased to see this announcement from Labour. What I would say is this is the tip of the iceberg. There are still myriad ways that people can avoid paying tax and we still have an incredibly unfair tax system. So I just hope that this is a signal of more to come from Labour because yeah. there is, is much more road to go on this and uh, we need a concerted strategy. I, I would suggest, first of all, get HMRC all back in the building doing the work rather than working from home. I think that would be a, a good way of, of, of boosting uh, the efforts on that front. I think most of us agree, most people who, I mean, far the vast majority of people in this country do pay their tax. A lot of people can't even get out of it. They're on PAYE. It's not an option not to. But most people pay the tax, and there's this exception. So, you know, you pay your tax, you get things in return for it. But uh, increasingly, we see the very rich get to avoid this, even when you have things like inheritance tax. The very rich don't pay inheritance tax. They've got all these trusts. There are ways of, of, of getting around it. Uh, they're not just dealing with, you know, mum and dad's family home and the like. Um, when you say it's an unfair tax system, though, we are increasingly seeing... Taxes going up for, for, for people on middle incomes. We're also seeing taxes going up a lot on people on higher incomes. There is that need, isn't there, to keep people on higher incomes in the country. We're constantly told, well, if you tax these people, they, what, they'll leave the country or they won't come here in the first place. Is that true, though? Look, I think the UK has an incredibly complicated tax system. We apparently have one of the most complex tax, tax systems in the world. We have over 1,200 loopholes on the books. We only know the cost of about 300 of them because HMRC only tracked the cost and impact of about 365 of them. That's a ridiculous situation to be in. We need to understand what all these tax breaks are actually doing, whether they're worth the billions that they cost us. We have 36 billion at minimum in uncollected tax. That's the tax gap that HMRC estimate they have. So those are places that we can definitely start. But more broadly, like you say, we do have a very unfair tax system. So working people pay much higher rates of tax than people who earn their income from wealth. So capital gains tax is set at 20, 24 and 28%, whereas income tax is set at its higher rate at 45%. So it's patently unfair that just because you're earning your income from wealth that you should pay a lower rate of tax than someone who goes out to work for a living. So I really think an incoming government, particularly when they're going to have an inheritance like they do with public services, you know, people waiting 24 hours for a hospital bed, you no know, dentist appointments, potholes. We really need to get on top of this and ensure that the wealthy are paying their fair share. Because like you say, you know, ordinary people who are just paying, going out to work for a living and paying, you know, pay way, you know, are paying their taxes. Yeah. And we don't get to have the opportunity to have a sort of quiet sit down with the tax man. We've had some extraordinary situations where these multi-billionaires and, and, you know, the bosses of Google and the like, they get to have a... They have lunch with Mr Taxman and then they kind of agree what they're going to pay. It's not what most, you know, plumbers or painters and decorators or small shopkeepers get to do. They don't get that opportunity. Um, Rachel Henry, great to talk to you. She's from Tax Justice at UK. Tom Slater, still with us uh, in the studio. But I think everyone feels that everyone should pay a fair rate of tax. But people disagree on what the fair rate is and mm -hmm. there's that trade-off between you can put taxes up higher, and I'm a big fan of progressive tax. Of course, if you earn more, you should pay more tax as a tax rate. But do you then get to reach a point when you don't get any more tax revenue in because people start dodging it.
Well, there is always that balance that people want to strike. But I think, um, and Rachel made the point very clearly there, a big part of the problem here is the complexity of it, the length of the tax code, yeah. the amount of room that if you've got a switched on, highly paid tax lawyer, they will find Which plenty of ways. Which these people do. Absolutely. That's the th and also that's another great injustice in the system, that when you've got uh, so many loopholes, but they can only really be exploited by those in the know with the money to pay expensive accountants and so on. Yeah. It's just another way in which this becomes terribly unjust. Yeah, and, and, that, and that is part of the problem, isn't it? Thank you very much indeed.